Right here I have this both indoor or outdoor insect trap. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, show you everything it comes with, what it looks like, how it works, and then we're gonna try it out. This was everything that came inside the package. We have the actual bug trap itself, the little bug catcher. I wanna say this is really lightweight, which is a huge plus, especially if you're hanging it. It does have this little hanger right here which seems really nice and sturdy as well. This also comes with a little cleaning brush. That way, if you don't want to use your hands to brush away any of the dead bugs in the bottom of this canister or that are stuck anywhere on here, you can use this really easily. So I like that. And then right here we have the plug-in. So this is just a wall unit plug-in and this piece right here goes in the back of this little bug machine. And then this piece right here plugs into the back of the machine. And the last thing that it comes with is five of these little sticky sheets. So I'm gonna show you how this works and then I will put these where they go. So essentially the bugs are gonna be first attracted to the LED UV light, which is gonna be right down here in the middle here. And it's kinda of gonna be a pretty pink purple color. And then because this fan right here is gonna be going, it's actually gonna kind of force them to go inside the little trap. And once they go in there, they're gonna be funneled into this bottom section. And then in the bottom of this canister right here is where one of these really sticky sheets of paper is gonna be. That way um, they'll be stuck down at the bottom to ensure that they're not going to get out, which is really great. Something that I really like about this insect trap is that there's no like electricity or harmful chemicals, anything that's either dangerous or toxic for my kids to touch or somebody to touch on accident. So I do really like that. In order to access this bottom section, we're just going to twist it and you can see that little funnel right here. And then right down here is the bottom section. So before we turn it on and try it out, I'm just gonna put one of these little adhesive pieces down on the bottom. This is what they look like. I do like that it has multiples in here so that you can continue to use this. You just peel this outer part off and you stick this right down here on the bottom. Now we just lock this into place and we're all set to go. Let me go ahead and plug this in and show you some of the different settings. I do wanna note that this cord is really nice and long. I would say it's about five feet long or so. Especially if you're hanging this outside, a long cord is gonna be really helpful. So all of our little buttons are right here on the side. We have the power button. And you can see that little pink purple light in the middle there. And then this fan button is gonna adjust the fan speed. When we push that, it has a lower fan speed and a higher one. The benefit of having the higher fan speed is gonna be maybe when you have more bugs around. That way you can trap a lot more of them just because that suction is gonna be a little higher in the fan. So the two different timing options on here, the first time you push it, it's gonna be for eight hours and then 12 hours and you push it a third time and it's gonna turn off. So I do like that because of the size of this insect trap, it's actually gonna be able to trap a lot larger insects as well as the small ones. So this will be able to trap smaller things like mosquitoes and fruit flies, but also larger things like wasps, moths, beetles, june beetles, flies, things like that. So I do like the variety that this will be able to catch if those are your issues. And lastly, I really like that this is supposed to help protect up to a half an acre, which is so amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up outside and I'll check back in with you in a couple of days and see what we catch. All right, I've had this running for a couple of days. I just set it out here on the potting bench just to see if this is a good area to catch some bugs as it is the very beginning of springtime over here. We don't have that many bugs, so I'm excited to see what's inside. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this inside so that we can check out what's in here. All right, like I said, this has only been outside for between 24 and 48 hours. So I'm excited to see what's in here. I have very low expectations because it is not bug season here yet, but let's see what we got. We're just gonna twist it and lift this part off. All right, so you can see down here on this sticky paper, there are bugs stuck on here. We have everything from, it looks like a mosquito to some little gnats that are outside. Actually, we got like three mosquitoes, which is surprising because it's not mosquito season yet. We have a little tiny spider and actually underneath this sticky part, we have um, a little tiny moth, so. Honestly, I feel like that's really impressive, especially because it is not bug season yet. This is really gonna come in handy if you have even a larger property, just to keep the bugs down to a minimal.